foremost, please. I'm sure that most of you have seen this trailer because with 20 million views, I think that's a fairly safe assumption to make. But that's not it. We're not going to give you only the trailer today. We have a very big surprise in store for you. For the first time ever, for the first time, 11 minutes of exclusive footage from the show. So all of you present here today, are the first lot of people who will get a sneak peek into exclusive footage from the upcoming series. Now, before we begin that footage, I'd request all of you to not record this exclusive content. So please put your cameras and mobile phones away because coming up, exclusive footage of 11 minutes only for you. Inside Edge, season two. But absolutely awesome. Now we're talking. Okay, uh, now I'd like to welcome on stage one of the powerhouses behind what you just witnessed from Amazon Prime Video. Please welcome director and country general manager, Amazon Prime Video India, Gaurav Gandhi. Hi everyone, thank you for coming. Uh, Gaurav, I'd like to ask you something. You know, 2019 has been an absolutely fantastic year for Amazon Prime with you, with all the path-breaking content, and I'm sure everyone will agree that you've brought to us. And now, with Inside Edge returning with its second season, so what does it have in store for us? So, 2019 has been a great year for us. Um, we're very thankful and very humbled. Uh, we've released, including this, nine originals, India, nine Indian originals. Uh, we've also expanded our content across all 10 languages that we program in um, to cater to the many Indias. And today, Prime Video is watched and streamed in over 4,000 towns and cities in the country. So we got really deep. Um, I think uh, the most fascinating part for us is, besides the membership growth that we've had, is the customer love that we get for all of our shows and the fans that we make around it. And that's really been humbling for us. And you have one right here with you on stage as well. I'm very thankful. Uh, I think the, the, our mission has been to create really engaging, enriching, as well as entertaining content, but being diverse in the kind of themes that we take. And in that, we're working with the finest creators to bring these stories to life. Um, and one among them, one of our most cherished partners is Excel Media and Entertainment, who we have a very deep relationship with. Um, you know, it started with this very show a few years back, uh, and they've been working with us ever since. We've expanded our relationship now to create hit shows like Mirzapur and uh, Made in Heaven, which we did with them and Tiger Baby. So when you get our very first original, which is very close to our heart, back in season two, that's obviously a very special moment for us. What's also very special is coming off a big success of being nominated for International Emmy last year. Um, as you guys saw, this season gets grittier, more engaging, more drama, the play, play, play league plays out even more. And I think we move in the season from what we call the game behind the game to the game beyond the game. And that's really where the magic happens. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, that was absolutely insightful. And now, Ritesh, tell us how did you react when you first heard that season one of Inside Edge has been nominated at the International Emmys? You know, honestly, it was a bit overwhelming and also unbelievable. Because when I first uh, read about it, I almost thought it's untrue. And then I, was, I knew the Emmys had just gotten done. So I said, someone's playing a prank. And then obviously the team said, this is the international Emmys. So we were quite pleased. And I think um, uh, after it sinks in, you start feeling, okay, you know, like obviously you're doing something right. And um, it's kind of a recognition that you're on the right track. And it encourages you to keep doing what you believe in. And that's what we do, you know. I mean, we just go with our gut, go with our instinct, and hopefully convince a million people to watch it. And when the Emmy comes in and gives it that certification, Stamp, yeah, I, it, yeah. it is very uh, overwhelming. And um, what, according to you, makes Inside Edge season two different from the first season? Um, I think um, what's different is, uh, you must have seen a glimpse of it already. Um, we left each of those characters the way, you know, all these um, uh, characters were left as the cliffhangers, they call them. So you wanted to know what happened, especially with Bhai Saab, 
you know, who is it, who is going to be Bhai Saab and what is he going to do now in season two? What happens with Vikrant's character? You know, is he alive? Is he dead? All of them, each of those characters, you know, between um, all of them, you know, so you, you're going to see each of these characters and I think if there was a certain hunger for them, I think we'll satisfy that. And on a, and, and also on a level in terms of there is there was a little less cricket in season one. You're going to see a little more of cricket. The politics in it is there. There's, so there's a lot of stuff uh, which is going to be different. It's very mysterious. Yeah. And obviously from what we saw, very power-packed as well. All right, it gives me <coughs> immense pleasure to marvelous creator and director of Amazon original series Inside Edge. Please welcome Karan Anshuman and joining him. Okay, please put your hands together for Vivek Oberoi. Bunny. Another one at the end of this press conference. But this is your time, this is your moment. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm more than the director. He's the director mostly. Okay, but my question still stands to you that how do you build on a multi season show with regard to the plot and the characters? You know, and the vision, how do you take it forward? Okay, that's a great question. So the challenge is essentially in the writer's room when we get in there, we, um, you know, we, any good idea that we have, we make sure that it makes it to the season that we're writing and we don't save anything up. And uh, it, because it's clearly not good enough to sort of make it, so we just bin it and it's not like we have saved it and kept it. So that's the challenge that like, we uh, always have. And that's something that I always tell the writers in the writer's room, don't hold back anything that's good, put it in there. And that's what we did for the first season. So when we went into the second, it was like absolutely starting from scratch. However, cricket is the gift that keeps giving, right? Like reality, reality always is sort of stranger than fiction in so many ways. And uh, yeah, we, we just keep sort of borrowing things that are happening in, 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 in real life and, and uh, dramatizing them, incorporating in them into the script. But you had like this uh, whole, like, like you guys saw in the trailer, there was this whole doping angle of performance enhancing drugs in uh, in sport and it's not just cricket like in sport so that we took from like what went down in say cycling and the whole Armstrong thing the Tour de France um, there's other like and you know what it's crazy because if you see something like the World Cup finals that just went down and if, if one had to script that I don't think anyone would have believed it right so in many ways it's reality is a lot more outrageous and uh, a lot of times you have to just like sort of curtail it and you know make it make it more palatable for for viewers when we get to it but uh, yeah so we're just lucky that cricket is you know always helping us keep writing this great thank you so much akash my question to you is that you know being this being your debut so what have been the highs of creating a 10 episode series uh i think uh, the template was pretty much there for anybody to you know build on uh, any director, whether it's debut or otherwise, would have had a challenge uh, in front of them with something that's so, uh, it requires the scale it requires, you know, and it requires the effort it needs. So I think for any director, first time or otherwise, it would have been a big high. What made it most interesting for me was to be able to work with long format, wherein I get to live with these characters on a longer timeline. You know, they're crests and their troughs, their transitions, their final resolves and deliverance, all of those really add to the narrative value. And I think that was the most interesting and most challenging bit for me. Other than that, I think uh, a 10 part show like the one that we've, we've uh, successfully been able to follow up with after the first season. Congratulations on the Emmy uh, nomination, guys. Uh, I think it was all about building it to another level to top the first season. And I think uh, from the word go, Everybody in the team, uh, from uh, every crew member to actor, everybody was just working from uh, a place of self-awareness and I think that is what, go what is going to make it a, a better show in, it, in its own self. I think uh, kudos to the entire team, everybody that has put in 500,000%, you know, I think it's big centuries that have come up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was that, that, that 
in itself was the interesting bit for me. Thank you, Akash. Gurmi, this one's for you. Uh, you know, broadcasting live cricket is very, very complicated. And I can say that being a sports presenter myself, there's a lot of panic, there's a lot of frenzy, everything is on the spur of the moment. So how, how did you recreate that same frenzy, that same pace, that same energy for this show? Uh, well, you know, we are a cricket crazy country and now there's so much live cricket for everyone to watch. Uh, we knew it would be a challenge to try and create cricket matches on screen that are fictional. Uh, and something that we realized very early on that, you know, our normal filming techniques would probably have to take a back seat. And the best way to approach it would be how you would shoot a real match. So we got an actual broadcasting team with uh, eight and multiple cameras to come in a PCR and try and shoot the game uh, like we would see it on television. The complication was that our brilliant actors had to actually go out there and play the cricket themselves. So all the sixes that you'd see a Vayu Raghavan or an Arvind Vashish hit are actual sixes or, um, you know, uh, Siddhant and Amit Sial's character, those wickets that they've taken are actual wickets that they've taken, yeah. those bouncers, so... As real as can be? Yes, and uh, the, the complication of her director was, I guess, just to be patient. I think more than anything else, uh, it took us a while to arrive at all those set pieces and for them to go on. So I was more a cheerleader than a director to them, just encouraging them that <laughs> dalo milega milega. So, uh, but it was great fun and it, it's turned out really well. We're really proud of it. It certainly does sound like a lot of fun. Vivek, my question is for you. First of all, we're very happy that, you know, you're alive <laughs> in the so show. I. Thank you. <laughs> alive and breathing. Is he really? <laughs> now, because <laughs> the season starts after your character, I Vikram. Like that. You know, the season starts after your character loses everything that he bets in the season finale. So, where does this loss take him? I think Vikrant Dhawan, uh, the spirit of Vikrant Dhawan is power, right? So power is his drug, power is his weapon. And at the end of the first season, it's all taken away. They've taken away his power, they've taken away his status, they've taken away his, his relevance and basically taken away his entire kingdom that he's built. In the second season, what was exciting was to bring a whole different kind of Vikrant Dhawan, someone with vulnerabilities, someone with insecurities, with fears, but also with a seething rage, a burning vengeance, you know, like a, like a dark phoenix rising, coming back like a wounded lion to win his territory again, to take back his kingdom. And that was super exciting. And I must say that working with this mad guy, this absolutely insane guy with a long beard, uh, was spectacular because he helped with, I mean, Karan, of course, created the character and then had a whole different graph. But Akash's visual interpretation of Vikrant Dhawan, which you, I think, they've hid behind his dark beard. Uh, you haven't seen it yet. But his visual interpretation was just phenomenal. And um, I loved collaborating with such a cool team, fantastic actors, uh, great DOP guys. Yeah. Vivek, yeah. he's not here with us right now, but phenomenal DOP. And also, I'm... Big shout out to my darling Richa, I'm missing her, Zarina Malik. The love-hate relationship continues. So, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a trip. It was an amazing trip. Thank you, Vivek. Anga, this one's for you. Will we see Shades of Grey in Arvind Vashist in season two? Uh, I can't say that uh, Shades of Grey, but definitely you'll see a very different Arvind Vashist. You'll it see, um, it's light blue. So, yeah. Are you just playing it safe right now? No, I'm not because... Uh, yeah, not playing it safe <laughs> at all. Okay, but well that answers that. Uh, uh, I think you'll see a man who's got a lot of purpose behind him. Uh, definitely a very different changed man uh, who wants to come back. He still has the same, you know, belief and the same principle uh, of uh, being uh, an upright person and loving the game and following it. Uh, but he will not be fooled anymore. He's a person who, uh, in the first season, you saw a very naive man an honest, upright man who believed in people, he believed in his co-owners, he believed in uh, uh, Vikrant Dhawan, he believed in Zarina, but not anymore. You'll see a that very, is, very different side. It was rather emphatic, yeah. not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. All right. Did you take any tips from your father to prepare for this role at all, Angad? Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, 
though I've been, uh, you know, I've born and brought up in a cricketing family, um, I can take as many tips from him, but eventually I'll have to do the job. Uh, so when uh, on the screenplay it was written, you have to, you know, you have to go across the stumps and you have to switch hit the ball, or you have to go and play over third man and put it in the stands for a six, or hit it over covers, or then go and go across the off and pull the ball on the front foot over mid wicket. These are very easily written, you know. <laughs> so uh, the only thing is that uh, it it takes a lot of practice, right? And uh, the brief was you got to go and play like. A. B. De Villiers, and <laughs> okay. and, my, sure. and, yeah, my why not? and my first question was that uh, fine. Then why am I not playing the IPL? You know, <laughs> so uh, but eventually uh, we really toiled hard. We practiced a lot. Uh, we worked and we worked and we worked and we slogged. And uh, I've been, you know, in fact, when I used to try and play a little bit when I was really young, under 16 uh, level, I think I was not as good a cricketer or a batsman as I've become after Inside Edge season one and two. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Uh, so people don't remember that you were a bowler. <laughs> you can take a right? Yeah, I was again. a bowler. Yeah. I used to bowl left arm spin when I was 13 and I was a terrible overweight fielder. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think I've done kind of okay, right? And I also yeah. think… Uh, Karan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but now you can take a shot at the national team again, right? <laughs> yeah. Now that you're so good I, again. So I think, uh, news. yeah, hopefully uh, I could be auctioned. And I, and I also you think know. that Inside Edge has made him a much better sledger of the game, right? Because now you <laughs> know how to… Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why you taught him some uh, yeah, tricks. Yeah, yeah. He, he does uh, bring the best out of me. And the worst. Does. <laughs> yeah, and the worst. So yeah, it's been a great uh, joy ride and uh, I think uh, due credit. I feel that what we are today, uh, you know, Ar as Arvind Vaishishto, as Vayu or as Prashant Kanojia, Devinder Mishra, I feel I can speak for the, on behalf of us boys who are on the field. Um, you know, this show has given us a lot. It's given us a DNA where people recognize us through our character names. And I think uh, we, are, we have to be extremely grateful to Amazon. At the same time, Excel Entertainment. Karan, thank you very much for giving me Arvind Vashisht. And I am, I'll always be indebted to you, for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Angad. Tanuj, yes. now, before I ask ah. you my question, mm -hmm. Um, just a little personal note. Oh, just good. before this press conference, I was told from a very, very close friend of mine Bro that she has watched Inside Edge Season 1 solely and solely for you. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> I, I, was, I was wondering, <laughs> I was wondering where coming. this was going. All good things coming. Is it, is Come it a on, he, man. All it, good I'm things sorry, coming. Is it a he or a she? She. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, why don't you just tell us about the fan reactions you've received from season uh, one? The fan reactions, you know, it was um, almost a surreal experience um, uh, the weeks and months after season one came out, right? Because, I mean, when we were making the show, we knew we were on to something, but we couldn't quite uh, pinpoint, yeah, pinpoint it. It, it could blow up in such a big way. And suddenly I could be out um, with my friends, uh, getting out of a movie, people are screaming, hey, you're why you, right? Or I could be driving the car, someone will turn up the car next to me and pull down the window and be like, bro, abuse like why you na acha lagta hai. You know, <laughs> stuff like that. Or I had this really embarrassing thing, I was, I, I was in the washroom and I was doing my business and two guys flank me on either side and they're like, bhai saab kon hai? <laughs> and I'm like, just can you give me two minutes? Uh, is, is, is that where one of your dialogues is inspired from? Uh, that's what, you know, that's what it just reminded me. Which one? Uh, the well, you know, the ones that we just saw in the... Right, the right. Uh, no, no, nothing is inspired by my experiences. Everything they is... Just, they, they, wanted wanted to to <laughs> they wanted to grab you in a vulnerable position. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it was crazy. I've had a um, uh, couple of girls out there who have gone and got Vayu tattoos. Uh, so, so, so there's this one girl who has a Vayu tattoo on one hand and a Dhoni tattoo on the other. I uh, see. So, yes, yeah, so, um, and it's quite crazy. It's been a joy ride, clearly. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a ride. I mean, like, you know, I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I hope it's a good thing, but people know why you more than they know Tanuj. Oh, that's like great. A Always works more. for actors, doesn't I it? I hope so, yeah. So, it's been quite a trip. Thank He's been you. practicing his cricket very diligently and all other skills that Bayu Raghavan's known for. <laughs> Only my cricketing skills. <laughs> Only my cricketing skills, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Tanuj. Thank you. Um, Amir, this is for you. Now, you know, despite never being seen, but your character has always been omnipresent. So, how is it to play such an anticipated character? Like doing a biopic of a ghost? <laughs> I don't know. Man. I, I didn't really know how to prepare it, prepare for it, but yeah, it was, 
it was tricky because I guess the audience or whoever's seen the first season have built an image, a personality in their heads. Uh, so to fit into everyone's imagination uh, would be impossible. So I guess they'll have to do with me <laughs> for season two now. I suppose everyone's Who was happy. Had? <laughs> Who are they had in their heads? Sorry, guys. All right, thank you for that. Okay, my apologies. I think I mispronounced your name earlier. <laughs> Let's just hear it from you. Let's just hear the right, Shai correct pronunciation from you. Shayoni. 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 Okay, great. It's not Sayani. All right, I hear you. He's also Sayani. Sayani is Sayani. Sayani is You have. <laughs> You have a very special relationship with um, Amazon Prime Video. You made your digital <laughs> debut with them. You've done another series with them and you're back here with season two. So, and you play an analyst in this, in this so, show. So has, has any, of, any of your analytical skills, have you taken them outside of the series as well in real life? Can you analyze your co-actors, for instance? Oh, wow, I can write a thesis, trust me. <laughs> I heard all the time from here, all the time. <laughs> First of all, uh, that's fine. Uh, my name gets mispronounced all the time. And I have a big soldier who's correcting the world. You have um, a very strong defense team. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, I agree. So, and thank you. It's so lovely, first of all. Thank you, all of you, for turning up. And it's such a nice energy in this room. It's absolutely amazing to be here, actually, with everyone. You know, it's been a while that we've all met. Uh, Siddhant has gone a little bit off. Uh, we don't get to see him since he's become really famous. So it's amazing to see and welcome back, brother. It's amazing to just be here. Uh, you know that guy from the gully? <laughs> <laughs> But it's amazing and uh, of course this was um, my digital debut uh, for I think most of us it was and uh, to have uh, collaborated, to have had collaborated with Excel earlier, uh, it was just you know working again with you know uh, family, friends that I already knew and Karan and Guru um, one knew from before so when they actually came to me with Rohini I was, I was really ecstatic after I read the script, uh, it's a fantastic character. I think in season two, she gets even more brilliant and uh, really, you know, to collaborate with this entire team, I think there's a lot of warmth and love and respect and we love getting together and making this, you know. Uh, we, are, we are genuinely good friends and it's I think very it's evident. fabulous. Yeah, very evident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for uh, that guy from the gully. <laughs> there she goes analyzing him again. <laughs> no, but if I have to analyze my co-stars, co-actors, right. I think I'll start from Devender. Um, I think he wants to shoot everyone who annoys him in real life. And uh, the, <laughs> the, the lesser we know what's going no, on no, in no, his no, head. No, kind of no nonsense. I have a family, man. <laughs> the lesser we get into his head, the better. Isn't that us? Um, <laughs> but he is, uh, Devendra's character is the favorite for all of us. I think we all love Devendra on and off screen. Um, Siddhant, of course, is... Uh, is so effortless and everything. Uh, so again, welcome back. We really, really missed you. मतलब आपने मेहनत नहीं की, effortless. यार ये मुझे कटाक्ष पे कटाक्ष दिए जा रही हैं वहाँ से. नहीं यार ऐसा नहीं है यार मैंने मेहनत तो की है. गुरु को मालूम है, करण को मालूम है, हाथ पैर सब कुछ खून कसीना. By the way, Siddhant actually cut his leg really bad with the spikes in his boots because he was just remember the first first season. There was a serious medical emergency uh, with Siddhant uh, last year when we were shooting the, the game of cricket. Yeah, but I'm Show us how you did the last few balls. Do you want to just show us like, how you delivered them <laughs> with that foot? Let's do it. Just show them how you did it. The last okay, guys. What? The last one. <laughs> You're, wearing... <laughs> You're wearing a bowler hat also here. Let's yeah. go for it. <laughs> umpire I'm a fast bowler, but yeah. They don't need any cues. Sorry, as, guys. As you can tell, they don't need any cues. Out, guys. <laughs> I think, uh, sorry. Come here, bro. Come You should bowl and Is this gully big enough for you?
He still has it. Clean bowl, man. 140 plus. <laughs> one more, one more, one more. After the injury. That was half the season. Okay, thank you for that. Sapna, let's, let's move on to you. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is your third Amazon original, right? So you also have a very enduring relationship with Amazon Prime Video. Yes, hello, hello. Um, so grateful to Amazon Prime Video for this third opportunity now. Um, and um, Akash, Karan, Ritesh, Guru for creating Mantra. Um, who's a, a very uh, differently empowered character compared to my other roles with Amazon. Um, very subtly empowered. Um, we've been calling her a breath of fresh air uh, amongst all these power playing manipulators in the show. Um, and yeah, she's a very grounded character. Very grounded character out of all the other empowered female characters I've done with Amazon. Um, a lot more delicate. So um, I hope you like her. Oh, I'm sure we will. Absolutely <laughs> sure. Thank you so much. Amit, you've been one of the most loved characters from season one. But wasn't Devendra killed at the end of season one? And now you're back for season two. Or are you? Yaar, itni se goli hoti hai. Itni, itni se goli mein nahi marta dev andar mishra, yaar. Oh. To shayad mar bhi sakta hai, pata nahi mujhe pata. I don't think I'm gonna get a straight answer. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. What is it? I don't know. I think they should watch it, no? He's just here to confuse you. Is he actually here or is he not here? I'm actually not here. That's the best thing, he's not even here. He's not even here. Okay, well, fine. I think we can go with that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is fun. The mystery we go with and this. the suspense continues, right? Yeah. And what's wrong right. with that? Okay, Siddhant, for you. Earlier this year, uh, you mentioned that Zoya cast you in Gully Boy after I think meeting you at the success party of Inside Edge season one. Now you're back in season two. So, what does season two mean to you? Um, everybody's uh, been asked uh, character related questions. <laughs> I've been asked questions which are um, season two. Well, I hope we win the Emmys this time and I still dance at the Emmy after party and maybe grab some attention of maybe, you know, <laughs> directors there. But yeah, it, it, it's very special. Inside Edge will always be special to me. Uh, this is uh, where my career started. Um, thanks to everybody here, Guru, Karan, uh, Ritesh sir, uh, Vivek sir, Tanoj, uh, Angad, Devinder. Uh, so it's, it's always going to be special. And uh, this time it's even more, uh, you know, because we shot uh, um, Inside Edge after Gully Boy. So I had to lose all that weight. Um, and get back into the head of Prashant Kanojia and you know where it ends. So, uh, uh, this time I'm quite excited uh, to uh, see uh, how uh, uh, demented uh, or how, uh, you know, uh, dark it has gone this time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I had a, I, I won't say I had a fun time shooting this because it really got into my head. He got into my head or I would say, <laughs> spoiler. Spoiler, <Okay>. spoiler. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's going to be very special and it's going to be fun and I hope uh, everybody uh, whoever's going to be watching it uh, likes it. So yeah. I'm sure we will. Yeah. A round of applause ladies and gentlemen for the stellar cast, creators, directors and producer of Inside Edge Season 2. Members of the press, this again is your opportunity for a photo op with this stellar cast that's present here because this brings us to the end of our Q&A session.